everyone knows the risks of cigarette smoking. It's the cause of almost half a million deaths each year in the United States. 40,000 of these deaths are attributed to exposure to secondhand smoke. But do you know what thirdhand smoke is? Thoracic surgeon and author of the book, An Empowering Guide to Lung Cancer, Dr. Eric Presser, discusses the most recent findings into the dangers of thirdhand smoke. Thirdhand smoke is the toxic cocktail left behind on the surfaces and objects that come in contact with secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke is the smoke and the toxins that come out of the smoker's mouth and the smoke and the toxins that come off the end of the cigarette. So thirdhand smoke are the compounds that are left behind in carpet, curtains, furniture, hair, skin, so on and so forth. And the problem with third-hand smoke is that we are just learning about the detrimental effects that it can have, especially in children. Dr. Presser discusses some of the health hazards of exposure to these toxins. So for example, with children who are exposed to secondhand smoke, we have good reports about what it can do. Now we're learning that third-hand smoke, the toxins that are left behind that coat these surfaces and objects, need to be dealt with. It's very difficult when you have a toddler, for example, who runs around all day and all they do is put their hands in their mouth or they eat pieces of carpet. And what we now know is that the toxins from the cigarette smoke are embedded in these objects and materials. Another important example is when you have a family member that smokes outside. Even when people smoke outside and when they come inside, you know you have that smell. Well, if you have a little guy who wants to jump up on their lap and read a story, you're exposing them to these toxins in the third-hand smoke, in the chemicals that are actually left behind that you can find on the smoker's clothes and hair and even their skin. You see, third-hand smoke, just like second-hand smoke, can be absorbed, ingested, or inhaled. One of the problems is that we know that secondhand smoke can cause upper respiratory symptoms, uh, early asthma, uh, cognitive and developmental delays in children. And what we are learning is that these same toxins are in actuality in thirdhand smoke, and people need to give it more attention. But the levels that they're finding that are found in these toxins that are left behind on these surfaces and objects called the third-hand smoke are actually detrimental and can cause long-term effects. Dr. Presser shares a story about third-hand smoke. Recently, I took my family on vacation to Las Vegas and we figured we'd see some shows and we stayed in a very nice room and the problem was we booked a non-smoking room. When we got there, we were told that it was a smoking optional room. And when we went to go smell the furniture and the curtains and even the carpet, it was as if someone just lit up a cigarette right in there in front of us. So when I called down and I complained and they could not accommodate me, I had to explain to them that for the next three to four days, they were actually exposing myself and my family to the toxins left behind from the previous smoker. And when I told them it was third hand smoke, I had to explain it to them and they had to go and look it up. It was amazing. Dr. Presser gives his advice to be aware of these dangers. Just like we want to increase awareness about lung cancer, since it is the number one cancer killer, not just in the United States, but in the world, we also want to continue to elevate education and make people aware of secondhand smoke and now thirdhand smoke.